So I'm outside here today. I hope you can hear me. I don't want to talk too loud because it's a beautiful day out and um, most of my neighbors have their windows open. We don't need our air conditioning today and it's early in the morning. And uh, yeah, I don't want them too mad at me because quite often I'm actually out here singing <laughs> at the top of my lungs. <laughs> um, anyhow, I was, I'm just, I'm so excited about this and I wanted to share it. This is my laundry rack. I finally caved in. I have been searching since last fall to find one of these folding laundry ra racks secondhand and no luck anywhere. And I can see why they're so handy, why anyone would give theirs up. I get it now. So I, but I got this one at uh, my local Walmart. I'm in Canada, so I'm sure prices are different and I'm sure my American friends would get a much better deal. This was $18. So that was happy, happy, happy. I did these this morning. These are big sheets. I forget the size. These are huge sheets. And uh, I tea dyed these this morning. I just used leftover tea, so they're not too dark. And I'm okay with that because I like um, I like variety in the shades of the tea. So um, I soaked them for maybe about half an hour. And uh, then I bring them out. This rack of these big sheets uh, will hold uh, 20. And I have found that if it's too breezy a day, I just use a little um, clothes peg and I just do a top pinch. I don't go all the way down like that. I just do a little top pinch because, yeah, they will, oops, <laughs> they will blow all over the yard. <laughs> this, my crafty crush, I got it. She's not just a pretty face. There's a amazing big brain inside that skull. Because uh, Nancy from Wishes and Wheats uh, suggested using one of these racks to dry my papers. And uh, wowie, I, seriously, I've been using it now for three days. It's changed my world. I can do two or three, um, two or three loads within, seriously, it's maybe about an hour each to dry if it's a beautiful day like this. Just incredible. This rack of these big sheets holds 20 sheets. So think about that. Um, one leaf is equal to one, two, three, four pages, right? Because if that is used uh, in a as a spread in and of itself, like in a big book, um, that's fantastic. So that's like that's eighty pages for a book right here, dried uh, in the sun without having to heat up my oven, uh, saving the environment in that way. <laughs> um, it's just fantastic, and I just. I have my little Happy Mother's Day tin from my granddaughters. I, so I, I've been keeping my um, keeping these in here. But you do have to be careful if it's too windy. Here, uh, I will show you right here. If it's too windy, they can get a little bit vigorous. Um, and you can get a little bit of a tear. I'm okay with that because um, quite often I still have to trim um, I, st I still have to create a fold, trim. I haven't had to iron any yet. Nancy uh, will iron hers, um, and her papers are absolutely spectacular, so I get it. Um, I usually will just do a really, really good fold, and then I will uh, put them between my wooden cutting boards and uh, put my bricks on top, and I find they just they come out really, really beautiful. So I'm really happy with this and thought I would uh, share the love. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk soon. Bye.